Uh, we'll, we'll have a look at the wicket today. Obviously, this is the first chance we've had to come down to the ground. Um, it might have been nice to be here early this morning and just see how much dew there was around on the ground early this morning and maybe understand what uh, what the ball was going to do early in the morning. But, um, you know, the one thing about day games, I think there's been a lot of talk about dew right through this tournament so far as being a, a maybe a, a major factor in some of the games. I guess with the amount of day games that, um, I mean, we play, I think this is our only day game, so there shouldn't be any dew around tomorrow. So it should actually make the contest that little bit more even and a bit fairer. So... Um, Look, they're looking at the scores that have been made here, I know it's only a reasonably new ground, but um, you know, big scores have been made, and, and that indicates that it's a very good batting wicket. Even you know, with the game that was played here the other night, I mean, there was a lot of runs scored in that game, and the wickets seemed to hold together really well, um, and didn't change much through the course of the game. So, hopefully, we get some more good conditions tomorrow, and everyone will be able to see a, a really good game of cricket. Beginning of the little meal, the bowling wicket's been for a little yeah, as I said, we've, we've had a good talk about that this morning. We, yeah, I, I think they might do that. With, we think it might be McCullum that might do it. Um, we're also prepared for Vittori, obviously. And um, you know, Price opened the bowling for, for Zimbabwe the other day and did a good job against our right-handers. So there's also that option there for New Zealand if that's the way they want to go. But as I said, we'll be well prepared. Um, we understand the way we need to play here against the old ball and the new ball. And it doesn't matter if it's a slow ball or bowling with a new ball or a, or a quick bowler. We'll be well prepared, prepared for whatever comes our way. Um, Ricky, this is the venue of Jason Crazier's uh, 12th opening test. Um, what, what, what's he uh, you know, feeling like coming into this uh, this match? Yeah, he's been pretty excited about coming back to the tree. He wanted to come down and train early this morning, to tell the truth, but we've had to hold him back today. Um, it's always nice as an international player to turn up at a venue where you've had some success. Um, you know, with Jason, albeit in a different format of the game, but I think... Um, you know, just to have that, that feeling of, and know the venue and know the wicket conditions really well will, will definitely help him. Um, I think, in all honesty, every game that he's played on the tour, he's actually improved and got better. Um, in the first two practice games and then the hit out the other night against uh, Zimbabwe, I think um, he, I thought his bowled particularly well. Um, he's a wicket taker, we know that. He puts a lot of revs on the ball, he spins the ball, and at different times, I think, with conditions looking like they have looked so far, I mean, there's, there's not many wickets that haven't spun a little bit during this tournament so far. He could be a really important player for us as a tournament. Uh, progresses. So, look, hopefully another good hit out for him tomorrow and, um, yeah, he, he, hopefully he can uh, get some figures reasonably similar to the ones he had here in the Test match. Do you think it's coming to something, though, when you can't get off steam in the dressing room, which is what players have always been able to do? Oh, look, I think there's a, there's a limit, I guess, that's, um, that you can let off steam in a dressing room. I mean, it is a pretty sacred sort of place, an international cricket team dressing room, but um, there's a line that you can't overstep and when some when something, some equipment's damaged in the change room, then, as I said, I, I accept uh, the responsibility for that happening the other day, albeit by, by total accident and with you know, no malice involved in it whatsoever. So, look, what's happened's happened. Uh, I'd like to be able to take it back, but I can't. Um, now we're just going to move on. Yeah, look, we've all been, as an Australian team anyway, been ex extremely saddened by what we've seen um, happen in Christchurch over the last few days. Um, We've actually had a chance now to speak to most of the, the New Zealand players as well, having shared the hotel with them last night and this morning. And I've got a couple of guys that I'm quite close to in that New Zealand side that I've had a chance to speak to this morning. And they've told me that their, their immediate families and friends are, are all safe. Um, we understand that there's some that aren't. I think their physio and maybe their trainer have had to go back to New Zealand. So, um, look, I believe tomorrow, um, as an Australian cricket team, we need to show whatever we respect that we can and do whatever we can to, to help... Um, People that have uh, been affected by it all will wear black armbands out, out of respect tomorrow. Um, I'll speak to Dan Vittori at the toss tomorrow morning as well and we'll have a minute silence, I believe, before the game. So, um, look, a lot of that stuff is um, really small little areas that we can, that we can try and help out as, a, as two national cricket teams. And as we know, we're, we're you know, neighbours and we, we sort of treat each other as, as brothers and we'll make sure we do that tomorrow.